Welcome to Beginner Sabbath School. My name is Miss Inga and I am your teacher today. Before we get started, I'd like for you to assemble your little one's worship bin. They're going to need some tapping sticks. I just use some unsharpened pencils, a bell or another type of instrument, a plastic bowl, and some coins. Today I'm using some chunky cardboard pieces instead of coins. A Bible that your little one um, can handle safely. A stuffed animal. Today I have Lambert with me. A laundry basket is optional. We can use that when um, we get to the part about getting in a boat. So if you want them to ride in a boat, you can use a laundry basket. And a colorful rag like just a pretty washcloth with their favorite color. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad you came to Sabbath school today. We're gonna sing our song, Shake a Little Hand and say good morning. As we sing, I would like for you to shake someone's hand, maybe your mommy, your daddy, or your grandpa or grandpa's hand, okay? Can you shake someone's hand? Shake a little hand and say good morning. Shake a little hand and say good morning. Shake a little hand and say good morning. We're glad you came to Sabbath school. Well, um, since we're doing Sabbath school at home, we can walk to church, can't we? So we're going to sing our song, Here's the Way We Walk to Church. So as we sing, I hope you can walk around the room, okay? Can you walk all around? We're walking to church. girl to help me with some of our songs today. So I hope you enjoy hearing her. Well, God made the Sabbath day the happiest day of all. That's why I love every Sabbath. We're going to sing our song, Sabbath is a Happy Day. And as we sing, I'd like for you to ring your bell. Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. I love every Sabbath. Can you ring your bell? Sabbath is a happy day. Happy day. Happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. I love every Sabbath. every Sabbath, don't you? Well, Jesus doesn't want to just meet us at church. He wants to come into our hearts. So can you bring your heart to Jesus? We're going to sing our song, Into My Heart. And as we sing, can you make a heart? Can you put your hands together like this and make a heart? Into my heart. Into my heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Make a heart.
Amen. You know, our offering helps children around the world know Jesus better. It might be used to build a school or a hospital or a church. Some places are so far away you have to ride in a boat to get there. So we're going to sing about our special missionary boat that's going to take a special teacher to teach the children there about Jesus. Okay, and to do that, we are going to use our plastic bowl as our boat. And as we sing, I want you to put your coins in, okay? And rock your boat. Sailing to the mission land. Let's sing. A boat goes sailing to the mission land. Sailing, sailing mission boat. It takes a teacher to the children there. A sailing missionary boat. Let's pray. Let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Holy Father, what a special privilege it is to come and worship you on the Sabbath day. I pray that you will be with each boy and girl, each mommy and daddy and grandma and grandpa that's joined us today. I pray that each one would get a special blessing and learn to trust in you and in your word. We ask for your Holy Spirit to be our teacher today. In Jesus' name, amen. The Bible is God's word to me, and it tells me that God loves me. Do you have your Bible? I have mine. Do you know how to handle your Bible? Very, very carefully. We never throw the Bible down. We don't put things on top of it. We treat it very carefully. Can you open your Bible? Open it carefully, and we turn the pages so gently. We don't want to rip a single one. Very good. As we sing our song, I would like for you to look inside your Bible, okay? The Bible is God's word to me. It tells me that God loves me. In your Bible. The Bible is God's word to me. The Bible says that God loves me. Very nice. And we close our Bibles carefully and we set our Bibles down gently. Good job. Well, our Bible story today reminds me of a special Bible verse, Psalm 89, verse 1. Can you say it with me? It says, I will sing about the Lord's love, Psalm 89, verse 1. Say that with me. I will sing about the Lord's love, Psalm 89, verse 1. Our Bible story this month is called Noah's Big Boat. Noah was God's special friend. When God talked, Noah listened. We can be a friend of Jesus like Noah was. I want you to Play your instrument, your bell, as we sing the song, Noah Was a Friend of Jesus. Can you play your instrument? Noah was a friend of Jesus. I'll be his friend too. Noah was a friend of Jesus. Noah
One day, God told Noah to build a big boat called an ark. God said, the rains are coming. A flood will wash the earth. Noah and his family built the ark just the way God told him. Can you build a boat like Noah? We're going to pretend to build a boat. So I want you to put your fist together like this. You're going to pretend to hammer, okay? As we sing our song, Noah built a great big boat. Noah built a great big boat. For God said the rain should fall. So Noah built a great big boat. Can you hammer? When the big boat was finished, a strange thing happened. Big animals, little animals came from afar. They came to get on the big boat with Noah. Can you bring your animal to the ark? So I would like for you to walk around with your animal, okay? I've got my Lambert here. As we sing our song, the animals came a walking. Walk around with your animal, okay? When Noah and his family and the animals were safe in the ark, God sent an angel to shut the door. Let me hear you shut the door. Can you clap? Clap. We're going to sing about that angel that came down, okay? And as we sing, shut the door, I'd like you to clap your hands. An angel came down and shut the door. Shut the door. Angel came down and shut the door of Noah's ark. An angel came down and shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. An angel came down and shut the door of Noah's ark. Drip, 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 drip. It started raining. God sent the rain for 40 days till the whole earth was covered with water. Isn't it fun to play in the rain, especially in the summertime? I want you to pretend that it's raining, okay? So I want you to pat your thighs. Pitter, pitter, pat. Can you do that? Can you tap your thighs, pitter, pat, as we sing about the raindrops fall? The raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat. Pitter pitter pat. The raindrops fall with a pitter pitter pat. Showing God's great love. The raindrops fall with a pitter patter pit. Pitter patter pit. Pitter patter pit. The raindrops fall with a pitter patter pit. Showing Back to Noah's story. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the boat on the water was safe, okay? I want you to stand down, stand up. And when we say the rains came down, I want you to go down. And when the floods came up, I want you to stand back up. Okay, can you do that? The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the boat on the water was safe. 
Can you stand up? The, the rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the boat on the water was safe. The rain. God sent his angels to watch over that big boat. Jesus sends the angels to watch over us too. I would like for you to sing, Jesus sends the angels, the angels. And as we sing this song, we are going to tap our sticks, okay? Jesus sends the angels, angels, angels. me when I'm playing. Jesus and the angels, angels, angels. Jesus and the angels to watch me when I'm playing. And to watch you when you're walking, and to watch you when you're riding, and to watch you when you're sleeping, and when you're eating, and whatever you're doing. There is an angel watching over you. Noah and his family and the animals were safe inside the ark. They stayed in the big boat for many days. They waited for God to land their boat. Now, this is when we use the laundry basket if you have one. If not, no problem. You can just use your, your bowl boat, okay? So we're going to sing our song, Who's in the Ark That Rocks on the Water, Rocks on the Water. So if you have a pretend boat, a laundry basket, you can get in that boat, okay? And if you don't, you just rock your bowl like I am, because I'm too big to get in a laundry basket. Who's in the Ark That Rocks on the Water? Are you in that ark? I want to be in that ark. Who's in the ark that rocks on the water? Rocks on the water. Rocks on the water. Who's in the ark that rocks on the water? You were in the ark all safe and sound. Do you like that cameo with my son there? <laughs> Finally, the rain stopped and the waters went down. One day, God opened the door of the ark. Noah and the animals came outside. And then God sent a beautiful rainbow in the sky. I will never flood the whole earth again, God promised. Who made the beautiful rainbow? God did. I want you to wave your pretty rag, okay? You have a colorful rag as we sing our song, Who Made the Beautiful Rainbow? Who made the beautiful rainbow? I know, do you know? God made the beautiful rainbow. That's why I love it so. Wave your pretty rag. Who made the beautiful rainbow? I know, I know. God made the beautiful rainbow. That's why I love it so. Who 
the rainbow still reminds us of God's promise to not send a flood on all the earth again. I want you to do this finger play with me. Okay, follow what my hands do. Can you sweep your hand overhead? All right, I see a rainbow in the sky. Each time the sun shines, can you make a circle with your hands? Through the rain. Sprinkle your hands, your fingers. Wiggle your fingers. It tells of God's promise to not send, point your finger up, a flood on all the earth again. Open your arms wide. Okay, we'll do that a little faster now. I see a rainbow in the sky. Each time the sun shines through the rain, it tells God's promise not to send a flood on all the earth again. Noah and his family were so happy to be on dry land again. They thanked God for keeping them safe. Our God is able to carry us through any hard time just like he carried Noah through his hard time. I want you to tap your sticks as you listen to the song, He's Able. Not all the words are on here, just so you know. Can you tap your sticks? We're so happy God is able. our God is able to carry us through all the things we must go through in this life. Never forget that. Well, it's time for our story. Story time is here. Story time is here. Let us listen. Our Bible story is called Noah's Big Boat from Genesis chapter 6 to 9. A long time ago, God called his friend Noah. Noah, I am sending a flood to wash the earth. I want you to build a big boat for you and your family and anyone who wants to join you along with the animals so y'all can all be safe. Noah and his family got working on that big boat. When they finished, they loaded it with food for the trip. Finally, it was time for the rains to come. And something strange happened. Rumble, rumble, rumble. <gasps> big animals came to the ark. Little tiny animals came to the ark. God led all kinds of animals to the ark so they could be safe. 
Well, the animals got in the ark and Noah and his family got in the ark. And then the angel shut the door of the ark. It rained and rained and rained and rained and rained and rained till water covered the entire earth. Noah, his family, and the animals were safe in the big boat. After many days, it stopped raining, but there was still water over all the earth, and Noah sent birds to look for dry land. One brought back a twig. Another didn't come back. <gasps> they must have found some land. Well, finally, about one year later from when the rain started, the water had gone down from the earth. Noah and his family and the animals came out of the ark and they worshiped God. They sang praises to him and thanked him for keeping them safe. And then oh, God put a rainbow in the sky with beautiful colors to remind Noah and all of us that he would never flood the entire earth again. God always keeps his promise. Whenever you see the rainbow in the sky, remember that it is God's promise that he will always take care of you. Aren't you glad that Jesus loves you? I sure am. We're going to sing our song, I'm so glad that Jesus loves me. And when we sing that me, I want you to point to yourself, okay? I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. And he loves you. Let's sing. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. school is over and we are going home. It's time to say goodbye. As we say goodbye, I want you to wave, okay? Our Sabbath school Shall we pray? Fold your hands and close your eyes. Holy Father, we thank you for the story of Noah's big boat. Father, I pray for each boy and girl and each mommy and daddy that they will today accept Jesus as their savior so that they can be, make it to heaven and, and see you. Oh, Father, we love you. We thank you so much for Jesus and his great love. And we thank you for the rainbow promise that you will never flood the earth again and that you take care of us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Goodbye.